Base boards, despite their name, don't have to be lumber, and that's what we're going to show you today. The installation of metal baseboards. Baseboards are simply the member that runs the full length of the structure at ground level on either side. It's not only important that these run flat along the ground, but it's also important that these run in a straight line, the full length of the tunnel, because your roll-up sides will ultimately rest on this, and you'll want a straight, flat member for them to rest on. To achieve this straight line all the way down the full length of the tunnel, we're going to measure down from the top of each ground post to where we want the top of that baseboard to run. And we're going to make this mark on every single ground post. This way we have a way to rough this in the full length of the tunnel and get a straight shot. So after you've done that, you're going to want to rough it in to see how that lines up. And you can see here, it doesn't. Um, and that just is because there was a little mound of dirt in between one of the hoops. Uh, and I have to etch that away, and you might have to do the same. Hopefully for you, it's a little warmer. You can see here uh, I'm dealing with some 90-degree weather, uh, which was a great time, but hopefully you know it's a little easier for you. After I got that etched away, though, I can you know get in the right position and throw on some vice grips, or some people refer to them as welding clamps, and I'll do that on the end hoop, and then I skip a hoop, uh, making sure you know it's lined up on the line I made on the ground post, and then I go to the third hoop, in from the end and I repeat that process and throw on that you know welding clamp or vice grip or you, you, you can use a similar type clamp as well as long as it holds that baseboard in place. Now I'm ready to secure it so you get a pan head screw which will go in the top lip and it's a self tapping screw and you want it to be a pan head screw which means it's you know not a hex head essentially it's it's flatter and uh, you want that because your roll-up side is going to roll right over that screw and you don't want it to be a rough a rough time for that roll-up. Taking a hex head, you're going to take that bottom lip and you're going to drive right through it with that hex head. So this particular screw is a 3 8 inch drive and it's 1 inch long and it's a self-tapping screw. And that's exactly what it will look like on every single hoop. So we're going to go to hoop number 2 and we're going to repeat that process going right into the ground post. First with the pan head screw on that top lip and uh, then on the bottom with the hex head as you see me driving it here and um, you're gonna go all the way until you get to that very end of that first member and this is this is important so I'm not gonna drive screws into that last ground post until I go ahead and, and slide the next member either behind it or on top of it um, we wanna go through both of those and into the ground post with the same screws once you've secured those two pieces together with the vice grips or the welding clamps, you're going to skip a hoop, skip a ground post, um, get to that, that third one, line it up with the lines and the marks you just made, and you're going to throw on that, uh, that vice grip. And you, know, you can see one of the lines there on the hoops is a little off. Uh, that's a line I made during the anchoring process. So make sure if you have multiple lines on there that you're following the right one, you will be very happy uh, when you get to the end if you do. So you're going to then, like we just did before, uh, we're going to drive a pan head screw through the top lip of the first member and the second member where they overlap and directly into the ground post. After we've done that, uh, that ground post is going to need a hex head screw driven through the bottom lip on each of those members where they overlap and into the ground post. And you can see here, uh, we're deciding to just do all of the top screws the full length of the structure. You can do that too. And um, that's what we're going to do here, continuing on this. Um, but again, uh, each one is going to need a pan head on the top lip and a hex head on the bottom lip. And you're going to continue the full length of the structure until all of your members have uh, been installed. And when you end, when you end, your metal baseboard will line up just like it did when you started. So pan head, hex head, and it's going to line right up in the middle of the ground post. And you now know more about metal baseboard installation than you ever thought you would know. Um, and you're almost an expert. You just have to do it. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful in guiding you in this installation process. If you're interested in watching other greenhouse related videos, please subscribe to our channel. And if you're interested in learning more about the greenhouse that we were working on when making this video, uh, I'll have direct links to the greenhouse itself as well as the materials we used in the description. Thanks.